Hello, this is Watch All About, and uh, we're looking at a, another watch review, of course. And this is the Corniche Rose Gold Heritage 40. And I've had my on Corniche for, for quite some time, uh, a little over a year, but I've, I've not got my hands on one just yet. So now, thankfully, uh, I have. Uh, and I'm pleased to say that it is quite an impressive watch. Um, so they, they retail at around about 220 to 225 pounds. And that's um, because on their on their store online, uh, they're three hundred and five euros or three hundred and forty five dollars. So currently, obviously, it'll always be changing. Currently, that equals about two hundred and twenty one pounds. Um, so we'll have a look and see if uh, if it's a good value for money watch uh, for that amount of uh, for that amount of money. So first, I wanted to share with you the uh, the outside case because it really is quite. Uh, quite impressive and I'm really pleased uh, with it. So firstly you come across this outer cardboard box with some nice little subtle printing on. Within that you have your certificate of origin which again is very nicely printed on decent quality card and then within here is where things start getting very impressive. So we have this really nice um, quilted uh, cover and then et voila, we have a piano lacquered wooden box, which is really, really smart. Um, and we have a nice little chromed button and chromed hinges as well. Uh, and then within here we have our uh, little booklet uh, and uh, manual as well. Everything's really, really surprisingly high quality. I mean, for £220, you wouldn't expect this level of um of packaging whatsoever so in that regard i've been absolutely blown out of the water so um you know if you were to buy this watch um the whole package is is something quite uh, quite exceptional so so we'll just put that over to the side and have a look at the the actual um box itself as i mentioned before it's highly polished just like a, a piano uh, we have this little button on the front and then oh there we go so we see the little insides of the hinges there, uh, very smooth opening. We have um, Cornish Heritage 40. That's ever so slightly. Uh, that's uh, that's been printed on top, uh, but it's uh, it's, it's uh, a nice like silvery colour. The underneath is a, a, a felt as well, so it's uh, it goes on surfaces very nicely as well without uh, worrying about it scratching or anything like that. So when you open it up, you have obviously the watch, and at the back we have a little gilt silver Cornish Heritage 40, and that's all a bit squidgy and spongy as well. So then we can take our watch out of here, and there we go. Sorry, a, bit, a couple of bits of fluff in the box. So here's the watch itself. So uh, this is the rose gold version with the with the black face. Um, so we'll have a look at it uh, in a little closer detail if I just shut the box and put that over there. So the specs then. Um, the size is 40mm in diameter by 7mm high uh, and it has a look to look length of 48mm. Uh, so it's quite a, a nice uh, sized watch. I've got a seven and a quarter inch wrist. Um, so if I just put it on you'll see. It fits me uh, quite snugly, um, you know, not oversized uh, whatsoever. I find find 40 mil to be the, the perfect size um, for like a, a smart dress style watch. Uh, other specs include uh, the weight being 87 grams. So although it is a quartz watch, um, it does have, you know, a good quality feel to it. Um, the uh, strap is 22 mil at the lugs. And that uh, reduces down to 20 mil at the butterfly clasp. Obviously, it has a butterfly clasp, which is uh, very nicely made. Uh, a sapphire crystal, which of course is a, a definite plus. Um, and the uh, water resistance is 50 meters. And the um, movement is a Miyota 2025 movement. So that's quite a, a, a solid uh, dependable movement as well. Anything Miyota is, you know, is going to be, uh, is going to be good. So 
I mean, to, to start with, thinking about the specs overall, everything you would expect uh, to have on, on a watch costing over £200. So every, all boxes are ticks, really. Um, and then we have the design, which I personally really, uh, really like. It's very nice, uh, clean, crisp um, uh, design in, in general. So we'll just go through um, uh, certain elements of the watch um, uh, one by one. So firstly, we start with the, uh, with the dial. Uh, a very uh, black, deep black dial with the uh, rose gold elements, uh, the uh, hour markers and the Dauphine hands as well, uh, pitched. Uh, all of the little elements on here are, are exquisitely made, very surprisingly uh, uh, made for the price. Uh, I do uh, uh, find all the printing to be very uh, fine and refined, uh, considering how um, uh, small and thin the printing is such as the logo it's quite uh, a thin uh, and light font weight so uh, and also this uh, outer uh, minute track uh, the railway uh, railroad style Every, all the printing is uh, is absolutely spot on no smudging or, or anything like that which you can see um, obviously the, um, uh, the the elements uh, the hour markers and the uh, the hands are uh, very well made as well, but we'll look at them in, in a lot closer detail when I get the macro lens on. Uh, but uh, it's, you know, in essence, a very simple uh, simple design, really. Um, and you can't really uh, knock it at all. Uh, I really like the design. I think it's uh, I think it's spot on. It goes well with pretty much anything, uh, especially a suit, but you can wear it for casual as well. So, uh, yeah, I, I really do uh, like the design and, and the, the, the finishing and the quality of, um, of the dial is, is very good as well. So moving on to the case, we have a, uh, a variety of finishes, well, two finishes. Uh, we have a, a polished bezel uh, and tops of the lugs. And then the sides are both brushed. Uh, and then we have the, the case back uh, with uh, this, uh, this main uh, section in the middle, which is more of a matte, uh, sto uh, blasted uh, finish. But it's surrounding that is, uh, is again, a polished ring. Uh, and the underside of the lugs are all polished as well. So move, uh, thinking about the case back then, this uh, is a uh, specific tree. It's a Mediterranean pine tree. Uh, if you have a look at uh, any of their uh, paperwork, you'll notice that a lot of their pictures are, are based around the Mediterranean and, and nice trees like this. Um, just open it up and see, yeah, like a Mediterranean kind of picture. So it's quite a, a, a specific style that they're going for and this is uh, followed through on the case back, which is a nice design, I really like it. Uh, something a little bit different and it has uh, the Corniche logo there. First anniversary edition because uh, uh, this watch is, was first um, launched officially uh, a year, just over a year ago. So now they've they've done a slight revamp, uh, and this is that first uh, anniversary edition. Uh, so uh, this is all very uh, uh, finely uh, and accurately uh, engraved. Slightly, uh, it's not quite so deep. It's not stamped or anything, which is um, which would always be nice to see. But you know, you can't come to expect everything. So uh, what it is, uh, you know, what it has been uh, done is done well. Uh, the finishing of the case in general is absolutely spot on. Um, obviously, the polishing is all very uh, uh, mirror-like and the brushed finish is all uh, smart and uh, uh, everything's together nicely. So no complaints there. Uh, the, the crown has the Cornish C logo embossed on the end. One thing I will say about the crown is it's, it's the right size. It, it, you know, the size is completely uh, to a proportion of the, the case, but it can be a little difficult to um, to pull out. You you can't really, because it's sunken in, you can't pull it out from the top or the sides, and you only have this tiny lip right at the bottom to pull it out. Um, so it can be a little bit fiddly to, to get out. Uh, but there we go, I've managed it there. That's the only thing. It's not it's not the end of the world, but it can be just a, a tiny bit fiddly. That's that's my only uh, my only thought on that really. Okay, so moving on to the uh, the strap. Uh, this is obviously a, a black leather strap with an alligator pattern embossed on it. Um, one thing I just want to mention firsthand is that this uh, the top lug sized perfectly, 
the bottom lug I'm a bit um, sad to see that it's ever so slightly too thin you can see there that it's probably about a mil millimeter too thin on the bottom which is a shame I'm sure this is a one-off uh, and I'm sure that if I was to contact them about it they would without hesitation replace it so it's not something to be for you guys to be worried about if you were purchasing one of these so don't worry about it um, but I just wanted to mention it whilst uh, whilst we're going through this review uh, so the the quality of the leather is nice and thick, very soft. It's very comfortable as well. The underside is uh, is very nice and soft as well. It's like a felty feel, so it feels good on the wrist. And it, and um, the the stitching is all very uh, securely stitched uh, and accurately stitched as well. So the uh, you know the the leather used is is quite a quite impressive uh, has a quite impressive feel to it. And obviously we have the uh, Cornish Heritage Forty. Uh, stamped on the bottom as well, which is a a, a nice touch. Then we we move on to the um, uh, butterfly clasp, which is uh, in the vast majority is polished, apart from this this uh, like base section just here. That's the only bit which isn't pol uh, polished finish. Um, so the the machining in the uh, construction of this is uh, as good as can be expected, really. Um, you know, for a watch costing this much, is certainly does a, an excellent job fits together nicely uh, it's very secure as well fits together very smoothly uh, and then uh, we have this uh, nice uh, not the usual flat bar but we have a nice little curve on top and the Cornish logo which is very deeply engraved on that so that's another sign of uh, nice quality so that's a nice little touch there okay so just a uh, a brief thought about the movement. It's a Miyota 2025. Not a lot to say about it, really. Um, but uh, it is quartz, which is mainly why it's uh, so thin. Um, it doesn't have a, a second's hand. So in reality, no one would ever be able to tell if it's a quartz or a mechanical movement. Um, uh, because obviously you won't have a sweeping second hand. So that's not uh, really uh, an issue. But I do think that in the future, if Corniche were to release a uh, automatic or mechanical watch, even if it was, you know, £100 more expensive, I think it would be uh, an outstanding watch because so far this watch has been very, very impressive. And the only thing that some people may wish uh, to be better is the movement because, um, you know, some people find uh, automatic and mechanical watches to be uh, slightly... Uh, uh, more, um, uh, you know, just a just a better better watch if they do have uh, one of those uh, one of those movements in. Okay, um, I just forgot to to mention that it, we have a sapphire crystal, so that's obviously uh, as scratch proof uh, as you can get uh, in terms of a uh, a watch uh, crystal. Uh, so that's a, a good a good point. Uh, so we're we're happy about that. OK, so uh, I'll just get the uh, macro lens on then and we'll just have a, a closer look at the watch. Okay. So. I'll just give it a wipe down. So let's start with the dial. Getting a bit bright in here. So that's the printing there. Try and make it a bit darker. There we go. Okay. Printing of the logo, and then a bit further down we have Heritage Forty again, very finely printed, uh, and then the minute track again. Printing is very fine. And we have the hour markers, which are a baton, but they have a nice uh, pitch to them. Very nice, in fact. You can see they're all very excellently made and uh, applied nicely as well. Made with pinpoint precision, really. You see how sharp those angles are. It's very impressive. And we have these Dauphine hands, which again are very sharply made pitched 
so the uh, you know the general uh, finishing of the hand uh, the the uh, dial is uh, is really really impressive. Just give it another wipe, and we'll look at the the case. Here's the crown. Excuse the fluff, and then we have this uh, bushed side. And a polished uh, bezel and polished tops of lugs. Then, if we uh, flip it over, we have to see this uh, Mediterranean pine tree in all its glory against that uh, blasted uh, feel, feeling uh, uh, center piece of the case back. Again, it's all very nicely uh, and accurately engraved. And it's one of the uh, six screws that hold the case back in place. There we go, and then if we just have a, a look at the leather strap, this is the top side of the leather, and some stitching along there. You have to excuse the green fluff you see every so often, I'm wearing a green t-shirt, <laughs> uh, and that's what I'm using to, uh, to wipe it down. And this is the underside. You can see the, you know, the very soft, uh, texture to the underside and the printing of Cornish stamped in very well done uh, and then moving on to the buckle we have uh, Cornish very deeply engraved uh, it is polished uh, as you can see so it, it can pick up little tiny scratches as you can see I've, uh, I've managed to pick one up there already which is unfortunate. And then we have the center section, which grips the two butterfly wings together. If I just push that in, you'll see it. Push that side in. There we go. Okay. So then, um, just to conclude, I think Cornish have really thought long and hard of put so much time, effort and money into the entire package. Um, the watch is an absolute roaring success in my eyes for, for £220. Um, just the whole package you get, uh, the opening experience, this case, um, the watch itself, you know, everything is, is so highly, uh, is such high quality that uh, I'm, I'm really, really happy with the watch. And I personally would be more than happy to pay £220 for it because you genuinely are getting a very, very high quality watch for the money. Uh, you know, not forgetting uh, this case uh, and just the, just the, the rest of the, the package. So um, I, think, uh, I think it's excellent. I think I really, really hope that Corniche eventually... Uh, release a, a mechanical watch because that will be absolutely outstanding um, but in the meantime if this catches your eye uh, and uh, you you fancy buying one or you're just simply looking for a, a, a smart uh, or a, a classic looking watch which is quite thin uh, stream uh, slim lined which comes with a with an excellent presentation box and just feels very high quality for the money then I would highly recommend the Cornish Rose Gold Heritage 40. Okay, so that was the Cornish Heritage uh, 40 Rose Gold, uh, and this is what you're all about.